Hello guys, this is Kishan and today we are going to discuss about materialized views. So before starting with materialized view, let us talk about simple views or complex views. What are views? Views is a named and stored SQL statement. So whenever you write something like select star from view name, what it does is it internally fires the SQL statement and that SQL statement result would be displayed to us. So that is a view, just a select statement which is named and stored in our uh, database. But materialized view is a totally different concept. What views don't have is, what normal views don't have is, they don't store the actual data. Whereas materialized view would actually store the data. Now how it is different from a simple, simple view, we will uh, understand this throughout the uh, video session. But uh, the very first thing to understand is that materialized view will hold the data physically in the table whereas a simple view would just query the data. It is just a named and stored SQL statement. So coming to materialized view, the definition of materialized view or snapshot as they were known previously. It is a table segment whose contents are periodically refreshed based on a query. It is either refreshed either against a local or a remote table. So what we understand by this is a materialized view will actually store the data. So when it stores the data from a parent table or a master table. So whenever that parent table or master table changes we can refresh the materialized view and get the change in our system also. 99% of cases materialized views will be used when we are working in uh, with two di different remote database. You know where we are connecting from one database to another through a DB link. So say suppose in a table there are 2 million records and the table is remote is located on a remote database. So every time when you try to query that table, first of all, you will get network load. Second thing is the query execution will take a lot of time. So to come out of such hardship, what we will do is we will create a materialized view on that table. Say suppose ORCL1 over here in the diagram is the remote database and ORC2 that is our database in our current system or local system. So when we want to access any master table from the remote database, we will create a materialized view in our system which will point to the master table. So when we create a materialized view in our system, it will create that select statement what is used in our materialized view query will fetch that data from the master table and store it in our local system. We will see that in a demonstration but that was actually happens. So now when the master table gets updated and we want those update to be reflected in our system, we need to refresh this materialized view in our local system. So this is basic concept of materialized view. So as it states, using materialized view against a remote table is the simplest way to achieve replication of data between two sites. But it is not really necessary that the master tables or table are located on a remote database they can even locate in your same database in different schema even that is allowed. So the advantages of materialized view the very first advantage as I stated is ease network load. No need to there is no need to access the complete data table every time via network. Instead when we will create a materialized view a copy of only the required data which is fetched to the a select statement of the materialized view will be created in our local database. So there is no need every time to go on the, to go through the network, to go through the traffic, to increase the traffic and get the data from you know the master site. Uh, the second advantage we get is it's enable data subsetting. What it means is we, we can fetch only the data that we require. Say suppose we are querying a master table which contains 12 columns but we are concerned only with around 5 columns then we can create a materialized view with only those 5 columns. So we can you know we can do data subsetting we can uh, concentrate on only the rows uh, only the columns that we require. 
similarly we can put uh, required where clause and you know if the table can if the master table contains around 2 million rows and we have a particular where clause where you know we can do some subsetting and console and our target rows are less then we can you know use those things and um, create our materialized view with only the required data so that is also very helpful so and the third advantage is it enables discon disconnected computing so it says like we can't refresh our materialized view but if you don't want to refresh it it's our wish like as per our business requirement say suppose there is some sales data and uh, the sales data rendering is to be done only at the night then only one time refresh is required at the night but say suppose there are some critical data which needs refresh every half an hour or any one hour we can do that so it's like based on our requirement we can you know schedule the refresh of our materialized view when we say refresh of our materialized view simply means that if there is any change done on our master tables or at the master site on our tables those changes has to be reflected in our materialized view so that is nothing but refreshing of materialized view now there are different types of materialized view see materialized view is a very vast concept but we will be looking through very basic understanding of materialized view in this video session because otherwise it will take a lot of time so we can have following kinds of materialized view first of all read only materialized view where the where the mv cannot be refreshed second is updatable mv where you know we can update the materialized view and when the materialized view is reflected those updates are then applied to the master tables then is writable mv writable mv is something like it will let you allow to update the materialized view and the new update will be visible to all the users who are accessing the mv but as soon as the mv is refreshed those changes done are lost it won't go to the site or to the master table site and you know update then the other are primary key mv where the materialized view is based on the primary key object mv it is like when the table is created with object type such materialized view are also available row id mv is just for backward compatibility compatibility like for oracle 7i and 9i where you know searching were based based on the row id for those and then there are complex mv complex mv uh, mostly include mvs which have um union union all intersect such kind of uh, you know set operations so i'll just explain you the basic syntax of a materialized view a, a read only materialized view so uh, the difference between how to find out whether the materialized view is read only or updatable or write only is that uh, if you have four update clause in the create statement of the materialized view if there is a for update that means it is a it is update updatable or you know writable uh, materialized view so in this syntax over here i don't have a for update so it's a read only materialized view so how 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 to create is it's a very simple syntax it says like create materialized view view name build immediate or deferred what it says is if we say build immediate that means as soon as the materialized view is built it will get populated with the data whatever our select statement will return will be populated in our mv for immediate if you say build deferred that means whenever the first refresh is done at that time the data is populated so that are two options that we get build immediate in which the data is populated immediately in the materialized view other is build deferred that is on the first refresh the data is populated next statement comes is refresh fast complete or force when we say refresh fast what we mean to say is it the materialized view will go to the master site and bring only those data which are changed so say suppose you have 2 million records but only 3 of them have been updated in a fast update only those 3 will be targeted and will be uh, done will be copied in our materialized view if the master site out of 2 million record only 3 records are updated then on the materialized view when a fast refresh takes place it concentrates only on those 3 updates 
it is very as the name suggests it is very fast you know such fast refresh are very um, good they are very uh, less time consuming they are very optimal second is refresh complete when you do a refresh complete the table segment of the materialized view is truncated and it is repopulated what is does is if your materialized view contain whatever amount of record your materialized view contains it will truncate that table segment and then it will go to the master side run that query again fetch the data and repopulate our table segment our materialized view so that is refresh complete where the data is first truncated and then repopulated so as we can understand it will be time consuming because we are first truncating and then repopulating the third one is force when we say refresh forces it will it will try to do a fast refresh if it is not able to do a fast refresh it will do a complete refresh that is force try with fast if successful great if not then do complete when we are doing the fast refresh we need to have a log table on the master ta on the master tables or on the master side uh, that means on the all the tables that are in our select query if we are doing a select start from employees so we need to make sure that that employees table has a log table now what that log table does is the log table on the master side does is whenever there is an update on the master table on the remote side what it will do is it will mention all those update in that log table so next time when we do a, a, a fast refresh materialized view will go and check at the log table like what are updated and it will fetch only those record and will reflect those changes in our materialized view so that is fast refresh we need to have a materialized view log table at the parent location or at the master location or at the that master table i'll just show you with an example it will be more clear